Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, I'm going to show you 10 sailing tips to help keep your sailing crew or partner safe and sound when sailing at nighttime, offshore, or in heavy weather. All crew on deck after sunset or during heavy weather should wear a personal flotation device. Equip your PFDs with waterproof lights and whistles on lanyards. Cover the outside with wide strips of reflective tape. If you fall overboard, a spotlight will pick up this tape long before the crew sees your face or body. Rig jack lines or long lengths of line, webbing, or wire rope from bow to stern. The crew in a safety harness clips to the jack line to move about the boat. Caution your crew to always clip on to the windward or uphill jack line. Don safety harnesses with two tethers. In heavy weather, clip on to the jack line or a robust deck fitting before coming on deck from below in the cabin. Harnesses need two tethers so that the crew remains attached to the boat at all times, even when going around the mast or other obstructions. Clip on with one tether before you unclip the other tether. Train your crew to be familiar with your engine. All sailing crew or partners need to know how to start the engine, use the throttle, shifter, and fuel stop. Let each person use the shifter to move from forward to neutral to reverse and back to neutral. Unfold collapsible swim ladders to be ready to use for man overboard recovery. Tie at least 100 feet of polypropylene line to a throwable device such as a life ring and secure the bitter end to the rail aft. Attach a waterproof light and whistle to the life ring. This throwable device could be critical in a man overboard emergency. Stow extra life jackets in port and starboard cockpit lockers. These will not be inflatable devices, but actual type 1 life jackets as shown in this illustration. This could become the most important throwable device aboard. If a person enters the water without a life jacket or their life jacket fails to work, they could be in danger of drowning or hypothermia. Show all crew members the special technique for donning a life jacket in the water. Review the video link below this video so that you can train your sailing crew or partner in this vital survival skill. Stream at least 150 feet of bright orange or yellow polypropylene line astern. Form a large 3-4 to four foot eye in the end of the line. If a person falls overboard, they might be able to grab this line to help them stay attached to the boat. If you carry an inflatable dinghy on deck, partially inflate it and tie at least 100 feet of line to the towing eye. A half-inflated dinghy makes it much easier to recover a person from the water. Mount a handheld GPS near the helm. Keep spare batteries in a waterproof container nearby. Brief your crew or sailing partner how to activate the man overboard function on the handheld and installed GPS receivers. Emphasize that this should be the first step in a man overboard emergency. That way the person or partner left aboard can return to the location of the man overboard incident for search and recovery. Use these 10 sailing safety tips to help your sailing crew or partner stay safe and sound on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.